Just when I thought I've covered all of the methods to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, somebody comes out with a brand new tool. And this one's kind of amazing. Not only does it assist you with doing the upgrade and bypassing those hardware requirements, it also has built-in tools to remove bloatware, disable all of the privacy junk, and tweak your system. I haven't even used this one yet. We're gonna check it out together for the first time. Stick around. Previously, I've done many videos on all of the different methods on how to upgrade a Windows 10 computer to Windows 11 when Microsoft tells you that your hardware is not compatible. One of the recent methods was using the Flyby 11 tool. And the same developers that brought us Flyby 11 have now come out with a new one called Fly OOBE. Loby. Anyway, the OOBE obviously stands for out of box experience. If this one works the way that I think it does, it's a combination of all of the methods that we used in the past, and it also incorporates some other tools out there with it for debloating and optimizing Windows 11 after the upgrade. Looks like this one might save a lot of time if it works. Like I said, I haven't tried it yet. I didn't even know this tool was out. I just happened across it today when I was actually going to download Flyby 11 and I realized they had a new tool out. Like all of my other videos, I will express that when you upgrade a Windows 10 computer to Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, you are doing so at your own risk. Microsoft doesn't recommend that you do this, but in many cases, I believe they are completely wrong. For example, this computer here that I'm going to test out today was new in 2020, and when Windows 11 came out in 2021, this one didn't meet the hardware requirements. Even though it's got a decent i5 processor, it's got 16 gigs of RAM, and it's still a decent computer, but according to Microsoft, it's not compatible with Windows 11. But I know that it will work just fine. Now again, like I stress in all of my other videos, there are some things out there that no matter what, you cannot bypass. For example, your processor, no matter how old it is, it has to have a certain set of instructions, SSE 4.2, or it does not speak the Windows 11 language and it will not work, period. And there's no way to bypass it. I'd also like to stress that I only recommend doing these types of workarounds for newer-ish computers, five, six, seven years old, that Microsoft says aren't compatible. Now my last video I did for entertainment, I upgraded a computer from Windows 7 to 10 and then 11, but I don't recommend it. If you get lucky and your computer can handle it, you will still at some point run into hardware issues. But if it's something you decide to do, hey, you're a grown up, make your own decisions. So I'm excited to try out this new tool. Usually I try these things out before I make a video, but I literally just saw it today. So I threw my other video idea out the window and we're gonna check out this new tool. But first I gotta pay some bills and if you have an unregistered copy of Windows 10, you're gonna need this anyway, so check out today's sponsor. Are you using an unregistered version of Windows 11? Then you need to check out Keyspan.com. Keyspan offers a wide range of products, including Windows 11, Windows 10, and even older versions like Windows 7. Need Office software? They got you covered with keys for Office 2019 and Office 2021. And here's the best part. You can save big with exclusive coupon codes by using my code RK250 to get 50% off all Windows series. That means you can get Windows 11 Pro for less than $20. But wait, there's more. For Microsoft Office, use my code RKT62 to get a massive 62% off. Buying is super easy. Just add your chosen product key to your cart, apply the coupon code, and pay securely via PayPal or credit card. You'll receive your genuine activation key in no time. Once you have your product key, go back to the activation page, click on change product key, enter the product key you just purchased, and click activate. Be sure to check out keysfan.com. Let's go ahead and jump on the computer. We're just going to download the new tool and a Windows 11 ISO, and we'll run through the process. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's go. All right, so from Windows 10, go ahead and open up the browser of your choosing. I'm going to type in 
fly by 11 just because it's actually an update to that tool. It's a separate tool. I'll show you when we get there. I'm going to click right here on GitHub. I'm going to come over here and click on latest release. And then if you come down here a little bit, there's two here. This is the new one, Fly OOBE 1.2, and then there's the classic Fly by 11. So we're just going to click download right here. And this will download in the top right hand corner of my screen, and it will end up in your downloads folder here. So let's stick a pin in that for a moment, and we'll go ahead and jump back to our browser. And I'm just going to type in download Windows 11. That will take us to the official Microsoft site. What we're going to do is come down here to create Windows 11 installation media. Click download now. It's important that we use this and not just download the ISO directly because if you are in the UK, you will run into some regional language issues if we don't do it this way. So now the media creation tool is also in my downloads folder. I'm going to go ahead, close out my browser, and I'm going to run the media creation tool. I'll select yes for user access control. We are getting a few things ready. We're going to perform an in-place upgrade. You can also use this to do a clean install. I'm going to accept. This is where it is important. So you want to go ahead and select this box here to use the same recommended options for this PC so that it accurately gets your language and addition, and then click next. Now here, we do not want to do USB flash drive. We want to do ISO file and then click next. I'm going to tell it to put it in my downloads folder and click save. I'll skip forward to when the download is complete. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and click finish. And you should have the Windows ISO and the Fly OOBE, Flyobe, whatever. I'm going to delete this media creation tool and I'm going to take both of these downloads and move them to a folder I created on my desktop just called upgrade and I'm going to paste them there you can put them wherever you like you will notice the fly OOBE is in a zipped folder so we need to extract that I'm just going to right click on it and I'm going to go right here to extract all and it's going to create a regular folder in this folder so I'm going to click extract okay now I'm just going to delete the zipped version I don't need that anymore Okay, so we have our Windows ISO here. I'm going to open up this folder and you will see the application here. I'm going to go ahead and double click it. You're going to get this message that Windows has protected your PC. It's okay. I'm going to click more info and run anyway. Okay, now what's new is all of this stuff over here to the right. And this is stuff that we'll go ahead and do after the upgrade. Now it gives you some choices here. We could have started with this tool. I prefer to download the ISO directly from Microsoft, but you can download it from Microsoft's website here. It just gives you a link. It actually gives you the option to do the media creation tool. That's new, which is cool. Probably should have just done that. Gives you another option using Fido. And down here, we're gonna select an option. Select uh, so from local computer, which is what we're going to do. Apply compatibility patch advanced. Keep Windows 10 secure until 2026. It actually gives you the option here to enroll in the ESU program. I'm also going to click this checkbox right here that says enable advanced upgrade mode, bypass compatibility and drive checks. It gives you this warning you're enabling an advanced setup mode. This option adds extra setup parameters that may improve compatibility on unsupported hardware success may vary depending on your system and drivers do you want to continue yes with that selected i'm going to check select iso from computer i'm going to go to my desktop that upgrade folder and 
double click on that ISO. And you can see right here, it's in the process of mounting the ISO. It's going to ask us to verify user access control for Windows PowerShell. I'm gonna say yes. I'll close out my antivirus thing there. Windows 11 installation can now proceed. Please follow the instructions in the setup window. Okay. And it was hiding behind my window. So if you don't see it, look behind your window. Now you can see what it's done here. It's basically, I covered a method on running a command from the command prompt to use Windows Server to do the setup. And that's exactly what it's doing here. It's just doing it for you. Now, here's an option. I'm actually gonna let it download the updates during the installation. However, if you have an older system and you think it may be extremely slow or you have an issue where it's hanging up during the installation, you can come in here and tell it that you don't want to do the updates right now and it will do them after the upgrade. I'm gonna let it do the updates now because one, I know this computer can handle it and two, that's just one less thing I have to do after the installation. So I'm gonna click next and it's gonna check updates for me. It is checking my PC. Now I'm gonna accept the license agreement. I'm doing an in-place upgrade, so I'm gonna keep my file settings and apps. If you're not doing an upgrade and you're doing a clean install, then you'll need to come back and download that new Fly OOBE tool so we can do the stuff after the upgrade. I'm gonna click next. I will fast forward. Real quick. I don't like to be that YouTuber that's constantly asking you to subscribe to the channel. I prefer to provide value in my videos and let you make that decision. But did you know that 92% of the viewers that watch my channel are not subscribed to the channel? Subscribing to the channel is completely free and it tells YouTube to push my video out to more people so I can continue to bring you content on a weekly basis just like this. You don't have to turn on the notifications. I did it, but it would help me out tremendously if you would subscribe. Thank you and let's get back to the video. Okay, we are ready to install Windows 11 Pro and keep file settings and apps, and I'm going to go ahead and click install. This says installing Windows Server, but it's not. It's just using server. This could take a bit of time, especially if you are on an older computer, but through the power of video editing, I'll go ahead and skip to the next relevant screen. All right, so we are now in Windows 11, but we are not done yet. We're going to check a few things and then we're going to go back to that new tool and remove some of the Windows programs we don't want and update a bunch of the privacy settings and all that fun stuff. So as always, the first thing I do is come down here and right click on the taskbar and go to taskbar settings and change my taskbar behaviors move it over there to the left like a normal person I'm gonna check on my drivers to make sure I'm not missing anything and it does not appear that I am missing anything let's go to system about we are on Windows 11 Pro 24H2. Go to Windows Update and I am up to date. All that looks good. All right, so, and I have all of my icons and files and things that were still here, so I didn't lose anything. I've got to change this background real quick so I can see. All right, now I'm going to go back to the fly OOBE tool. Okay, so under device, display options, accessibility, system info, personalization, got my dark theme set, apps. Okay, select the apps you want to uninstall to free up space and improve your system. I don't want any of these apps, so it's going to select all of these apps, and I'm going to go ahead and click Remove Selected Apps. And it should remove all of those Microsoft apps that I'll never use. Uninstallation complete. Let's configure your device. 
issue system edge you are gaming privacy disable privacy settings turn off telemetry data collection okay order issues basic disk cleanup system microsoft edge disable browser sign in and sync services disable disable don't submit toggle all of those it's possible I already have that stuff disabled previously. That may be what those errors were for. You uh, Show full context menu in Windows 11. Don't use personalized lock screen. Hide search bar on taskbar. Hide most use apps and start menu. Hide task view button. Disable search box suggestions. Definitely disable in that. Disable Bing search for sure. Hey look, I have the align start button to the left. I didn't have to do that. Okay, I'm not gonna go through all of these. That's gonna take forever, so just make sure that you go through here under each selection, paying particular attention to the privacy settings and the software and things that you don't want on here. And I may do a separate video just on all of the tweaks within this program. What else we got, installer? Okay, so you could come through here and install apps in mass. The list is not very long, but there are some programs in here that you may or may not need. You can just select all the ones that you want. Okay, updates, I've already done updates. Extensions, let's see. Okay, it gives you access to Chris Titus app. Install programs, tweaks, fixes, and updates. Clear icon cache, create a restore point. Should have done that before I started doing all this mess. Huh. Restore all built-in apps. Why would I want to do that? Uninstall OneDrive. All right, so it's a pretty cool tool. And, you know, in addition to, um, which is the big thing, allowing you to upgrade Windows 10 to 11 on unsupported hardware, it also provides a lot of these other apps that I've done individual videos on for doing tweaks and things of that nature. And adjusting your privacy settings and de-bloating. I'll have to play around with it a little bit more. I'm sure I missed something. Again, this is the first time I've used it. Normally I've thoroughly tested this stuff before I create a video, but sometimes we just gotta figure it out together. And there you have it. Just one more way you can upgrade your Windows 10 computer to Windows 11 before October when support for Windows 10 ends. I think that was a very useful tool. I think they did a good job of kind of combining a lot of things that we use individually into one tool. It's still a very new tool, so I'm sure there will be plenty of improvements and updates to it. So I'm sure I will check it out again. So what are your thoughts? Will you give it a try? Let me know in the comments. Also, drop me a comment below for any suggestions you have for future videos. Do me a favor, please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me grow the channel and it allows me to keep bringing you content just like this on a weekly basis. Be sure to check out some of these other video suggestions. And as always, thank you for watching and until next time.